Tinthia Mamle Morrison is the Minister of Gender, Children and Social Protection. Join us on the telephone for some details on this. Madam, thank you for your time. Good evening to you. First off, this 15,000, that the figure you put out there, exactly how did you come to this figure? Because I know you're still taking data on, on these persons. Thank you and good evening to your listeners also. Um, before Saturday, Sunday, till so today, we've been going around collecting the data. You know, the CAI already have their leadership. They're a group of people that you see scattered, but every one of them has a group that he or she belongs to, even including the men. So they have their data. But, um, you know, some of them have already left. And so we went back to tell them to delete those who are not, who have left, and so that is how come we have the data. For, unfortunately, unfortunately, some of them have their children, their babies, their younger siblings joining them. So those ones are a little addition. But I believe that the 15,000 that we have, um, we've gotten um, is appropriate for us to start um, working with. Now, so is this an estimated figure or you actually no, know exactly not where? An estimated. That's what they have brought to us. So all of these 15,000 are in Accra. You know where they are? No, we are doing Accra in Kumasi, not only Accra. And, and you've it's located Accra, all of them? Chema in Kumasi. You've located all of them? You know where, where they are? Yeah, we have them at Kantamantu, Agugulushi, Malamata, Udo, Udona, Adabraka, Nima, Tudu, um, Mamubi, um, Mampubi. Um, I don't have that my but I see. And then the yeah, even including the forty five, the forty uh, the sixty people who are trying to um, go to Tamale and they were founded at Ejusu. You no, know, all of them. I see for, for those we, we understand there were some pregnant women in, in, in that trial. A lot of them pregnant and lactating mothers, you know, almost everybody has a baby. With just a handful of people without children. I see. So why are so you going to house them? The only is the children added on. Because we captured adults. So the children are they added on. Yeah. Interesting. So the other bit is, is shelter. So where exactly are you going to house these people over the period? Yeah, some of them are big in power. We were located schools. Our committee chair has also given us an allocation, a place to keep them. And some of them are living in the um, CMB. They have their own quarters there. And the only reason why we are moving some of them out is that they've clustered in the room. And we think for the distancing that we are looking for, we don't have to allow them to all be there. So some of them are volunteered. So we move some of them out. But basically, almost all of them. Those that you see sleeping right in front of the shops are the new ones who come in and have relatives. But you'd be surprised to meet the whole community of Kaye living so you see them on the street in the afternoon. Most of them go back in the evening to sleep. The shelters around the CMB station, you know, behind the CMB station. So that a few of them are those. So those few ones are ones that we are putting in schools and, and, and catering for. And that is for Accra. I see. So how about those in Kumasi? Oh, in Kumasi, um, the NADMO are taking care of those in Kumasi. They'll give me an update, even though they are working. Those are also... In Kumasi, too, just like I'm saying in Accra, they have their own um, places where they live. Kumasi also is staying, but the new ones also sleeping outside. And those out are those that we are putting in you know, schools because the students are not in school now. They are taking that opportunity to use the school. Right. And then a few community uh, centers uh, also. Maybe very quickly, the bit on, on stipends, how much are you giving them daily? Um, I don't want to talk about the money now because, you know, um, with money comes a lot of other things, challenges. My concern is the food that we are giving them, the sanitation. Today, those who arrive from Ejusu, we've given every one of them a mattress, we give them a blanket. If you have a child, we give the child also a blanket, a bucket and a bowl to wash in plates and cups to drink and eat from, and then mosquito coil and soap and mosquito nets to sleep under. So that is how we are going. The other groups that are going to go elsewhere, if it is not, um, is a classroom and we think that we would have the problem with mosquitoes and stuff, we right. provide a, a I see. You don't want to go into the figures, but I mean, I'm sure it'll be something that would cover a three square meal a day. Oh, uh, definitely. So, definitely. So, definitely. like. And water, and they're giving them sanitizers, they're giving them pads, so, and toilet rolls, and all so that. So, yeah. within a range of 20, 50 no, cities? No, I'm making money, I told you I'm saying. 
Yeah, we are on air, we actually. We, we will are. give you a breakdown after we've settled them properly. Uh, okay. Well, after we've given everybody right. what the you see, because I was able I, 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 I we think... did this one, I'm telling you the things that we have done. All right. You know, we'll, so we'll, wait, we'll wait for we'll that. You know, because it is government, it is a, um, how do you say, the national test that the money is coming from. But we'll tell you after everything. Okay. But for now, since we are still All doing right. the investment, Thank let's you. hold it to our chest and make sure that people don't just rush in and say, I'm here, I'm also hungry. Do this for me or that. Thank you. Uh, for time You're welcome, again. Have a uh, nice day. You too, then. Uh, Cynthia Mamley-Morrison is a gender minister.